Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Brian the Divine Healer here with you. Gonna do your reading. That's right. Let me put my, let me put my glasses over here. <laughs> Alright, so Divine Squad, my little subscribers. Thank you for your likes, your shares, your subscribes, and your comments, okay? So we're doing Virgo Libra Cusps today, right? So your birthday is September 19th through the 25th. You, my friends, are part of the cusp of beauty, right? Beautiful as you guys are. Okay. <laughs> So, <clears throat> let me shuffle these up here a little bit, and we'll get into your reading, okay? Noobs, welcome. Hit the like button, subscribe. Become part of the Divine Family, okay? I'm going to lay two cards out. Those two cards are going to represent your duality now, right? That's your yin and your yang, masculine, feminine, light, and dark side, okay? And all the cards that I put out are for the present. It's not for the past or the future, though. Some of those might come out, but it's all for now. Okay. Then after I lay those cards out and tell you a story, that story will have a message and a verdict and an outcome. And then, uh, you know, that's it. <laughs> what else could I say? Okay. So let's shuffle these up here and find out what's going on with the Virgo Libras. Yes, seems to be pretty popular a lot with the Virgo Libras. If you haven't noticed all about tarot, it's all... Libra, Virgo, Libras, right? Uh, no offense to any of the signs, but you know, I'm just saying. I'll notice things like that. All right, you ready? I am. Here's your first card. Ace of Cups. Wow. Okay, so you're either having a brand new perspective on something, or you're having a new start in love. Okay. That's basically it. In a nutshell. Okay, so let me pull another card and let's see what your second card is to get the rest of your duality. King of Cups. Okay, so this is your energy. This is what you want. You want a new start in love because you are a very loving person. You're very giving. You're very in your emotions, meaning, um, you know. Uh, you got a grip on them, okay? You got a grip on your emotions, and you're very loving, so you're loyal. You're, you're like family oriented. You're very stable in your emotions, okay? And you want you want love. You're gonna have a new start. This is what you want, okay? So that is your energy. Let's get to the story. Shuffle this up one more time. I just like to shuffle today. <laughs> okay. Here's your first card of the story. Eight of Swords. Hmm. Okay. So, you know, you're a little stuck in your head. You're a little um, concerned with things, right? You just kind of... Basically, it's a mental entrapment, right? So you're just overthinking things. You know what I mean? Um... So, it's not too much I can get out of that other than definitely overthinking, you know, worrying about things. But it's all mental, okay? It's all mental. Your emotions are in control here, but it's your mind that is a little um, wound up, we'll say. Okay? Let's keep going. Let's figure this out. All right. So, here we go. Next card. Ten of Swords. Wow. Definitely some mental energy going on here with y'all, okay? Um, okay, so here that you, you know, you're a very loving person. You want a new start in love. You're trapped in your mind because, you know, you're you're, you're burdened by things. So you, you burdened as in uh, maybe in the past you've been, you've been betrayed, you've been lied to, you've been backstabbed, you've been cheated on, all this other stuff. Now it makes sense to why you're in your head, okay? So it's like fear a little bit of basically falling in love. Wow. Okay. Yeah, that's what I got. Okay, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Let's pull some cards here. Okay, so Page of Pentacles. Now here comes an offer. Okay. So it's like you're worried about this offer that's coming in for love. See, love. And this is what it's putting in your head because, like I said, in the past you've probably been, 
deceived, betrayed, lied to, all this other stuff. And the worry is with this new offer coming in. Okay? Yeah. So let's get another card. Interesting. <clears throat> but it's not emotional. So it's all in your head. Okay? Because you're very much in control of your emotions with the King of Cups. <clears throat> Okay, so now you have the temperance card, okay? That's peace, that's harmony, that's balance, right? Okay, so what you were stuck in your head about, okay? Because really with the Ten of Swords, Tens are about completion, Swords is your mind, okay? So um, maybe, maybe you're worried about this offer that's coming in that... You know, maybe you're overthinking. It could be something of your past that you've already went through and you don't want to go through that again, okay? Just for that. But here with the temperance, it's like this message that comes in is very peaceful. It's very harmonizing. It's very balanced, okay? This offer. So you could really be ending your eight of swords, being trapped in your own mind, and really ending those thoughts of being, you know, hurt and betrayed and all that kind of stuff, okay? Let's pull another card and get a little more clarity for that. Keep going with your story. Okay. So. You have the Knight of Wands. So the Knight of Wands is passion. It's fire. It's drive. It's, it's you know, um, just that forward movement. It, that's going towards the temperance. Right? That's going towards this offer. So. Not only is this offer that's coming in, it's, you know, it, it's going to bring you some um, balance, a little peace and harmony, but it's on fire. There's a lot of passion behind this. There's a lot of action that goes with this, okay? So I'm not sure if that's part of some of the, you know, <clears throat> eight of swords about you thinking if it's just a pony ride or not, okay? Let's keep going. You got two. Well, no, it's not a pony ride. It's the offer of stability, but the passion is there because this person wants to come in quickly. Okay, they want to come in fast. They want to come in hot, right? And it's going to bring a lot of stability. Okay, so this kind of definitely ends your ten of burden. So it completes this kind of mindset that you've had. It really eliminates you from being stuck in your head. Okay. <clears throat> and so now here it comes. There's your wish fulfillment. Nine of nine of cups there you go so this offer that comes in fast hot and heavy and um brings you some harmony about ending this kind of mental conflictions um they're they want to bring in stability they want to bring the solid offer and they want to you know be your wish fulfillment wow wow <laughs> i mean what can i say about that that's pretty good. And so here you go. There's a judgment card. Right? So definitely it's not any of this about your mental. Because uh, that, like I said, that was in your past. Because the tens ring, uh, signify completions. And the swords is your mind, obviously. So once they bring this offer in, it brings a whole bunch of balance to you for that. And they come in and fast with an offer of stability that, you know, brings in family, um, security, all those kind of things. And this is a wish fulfillment for you that is being called from the divine to bring you this judgment. Pretty simple. Pretty straightforward. Okay, let's keep going. Ending all those burdens for you. Judgment has been called to end those burdens. Right? So yes, I was right. The completions are done. No more mental str strife about what you've been through. And having that worry about if it's going to happen again. Because the divine is calling a judgment on those burdens. So, done deal. You don't have to carry that anymore. So you're going to really accept this <clears throat> offer as, you know, being that wish fulfillment. Bringing you this peace and harmony balance a lot of stability for you and passion that comes in quick mm, it's kind of delicious if you ask me <laughs> and it is from somebody of your past <laughs> okay so somebody from your past 
is very nostalgic on you which means they have a lot of good memories of you they you know i don't know if you guys were together already or whatever uh, it's just somebody that you know from your past that they think of you um on this very high level okay they have very fond very very fond emotions for you right they love you basically in sense and this is what you're asking for wow oh my god if that's not like beautiful then i don't know what is so noobs hit the like button and subscribe become part of this divine family and let's keep going okay so they're making this offer to you because they know you're single right they know you're abundant they know you have all your you know your ducks in a row you have all everything together right you're intelligent you're beautiful you're creative you're very stable and you're very single okay <clears throat> or this person is also very single because it is from the past person who is very single and stable as well but the page is the offer so you know they just kind of mention it they bring it to you at a little bit it's not like this whole big it was like in increments okay a little bit at a time okay so this is going to be a very loyal long lasting kind of relationship for you a new start in love right but it's going to be slow and steady so that slow and steady is over the whole a long-term process building this abundance because it is underneath the ten of pentacles so you're going to constantly together work on keeping this relationship stable strong passionate and very balanced wow <laughs> this is great you guys are lucky here we go here's the next card full card Take the leap of faith. Take that journey. Be brave. Do it. Okay? It has so many good positive things already. So let go of some of the things that you're holding on to in your mind. Release that. Release those those burdens, those pressures, those, you know, over worrying things because this is a true offer. This doesn't get any realer than this. Okay. Let's keep going. Pull another card here. Okay. So, with the leap of faith, there comes a, a tiny bit of a wait. Okay. There's a little bit of a wait. Okay. So, he's sitting there waiting, looking, waiting for the ships to come in, waiting for this to happen. It is a slow and steady process that is building up gradually. Okay. And this is why you're kind of waiting. It's like you're on hold. And he's looking out in the distance, so maybe it's like this person is distant from you. This person's distant from you, and you're standing there kind of looking out at them at, on that distance, kind of waiting for them to come in, waiting for this to all kind of like transpire. This is coming in hot and heavy, so you guys got to take it. <laughs> okay, let's keep going. There's your justice. This is your justice. This is what you deserve. This is what you get. This is what you ask for. And this is what you shall receive. And there's a lot of balance to this because not only is this Libra energy, you guys are Libra too, Virgo Libras. So you either have just a Virgo or just a Libra. You still fit in there because that is your sun sign. And the cusp is just in the middle. So you kind of qualify as a cusper, but not officially, okay, if that makes sense. Because your birthday's not in the range. But you still share that sun, that sun sign. So there you go. There's the justice. There's your balance with that scale. Right? The scales of justice right there. So this balances everything out for you because it is justice. So sometimes waiting is better. You know, patience is a virtue kind of a thing. Okay? So let's keep going here and see. Yeah, look at the victory and success. This is going to be a very successful relationship. Strong, abundant, passionate, balanced, harmonized. I mean, no burdens. No mental struggles. And it's going to be for the long haul. But there's your victory. Amen. Okay, so let's keep going here. Yeah, there you go. You're at peace now. You finally lay these mental things down because now that you know it's solid you know this offer is coming into you you know what it's about the structure the stability the abundance and emotions the happiness the love the long term wow 
you finally have a now a little bit of a stable mind to understand that this is the real deal. Oh my god. <laughs> this is fantastic. So drink your water, hit the like button, and subscribe, become part of the Divine Family. I appreciate that. You guys are amazing. This is your story. This is your read. And I'm just picking it up for you to tell you what's going on. So boom, there you go. Here comes some news coming in, right? Some news coming in. Page of Wands. It's coming from Queen, uh, Queen of Pentacles. So this person is the Queen of Pentacles. They're stable, they're abundant, they're grounded, they're intelligent, they're creative. They have their own shit going for them. They're very much solid in everything that they got, especially their emotions. Oh my goodness. What do they got to say? Eight of Cups. Well, it's like they're saying, you know, um, basically take that leap of faith, right? Walk away from things that don't serve you emotionally like this, weighing yourself down in your mind and trust that you're being guided to do this to in search of your ten of cups because you're at the eight even though you have the nine over here which is your wish fulfillment to have all of this it doesn't really come in until you know you kind of wait to get that answer to see the confirmation if this is you know the real deal and um, now you can really trust this person to know that they are stable they have no issues that are you know coming from their past as you are leaving and walking away from things that don't serve you which is the overthinking of your own mind about what you have gone through in your own past. I hope that makes sense. It sounded pretty good. It sounded right on. So I think you guys get that. Okay, so now this is going to change your stability 100%. Okay, it's not about being left out in the cold. It's nothing like that. It's changing your stability. Okay, changing your stability because it's they're bringing abundance. They're bringing that security. They're bringing that love that you also have as being the king of cups. So this obviously is a, a, a change in that stability. Which is like double. So now you have a choice to make. Do you go for it or not? Right? And it's a blind decision, which means you're not going to use your emotions. You're going to use, strictly use your logic on basically what has been presented, what is being offered, what you kind of analyze the whole thing about realizing you had to let go of some things <clears throat> in that fear of possibly this carrying over to be like another, you know, <laughs> painful relationship. Okay, Because you deserve it. You deserve a brand new start. You deserve abundance and to be loved, right? So now this is the, cho the choice is up to you. You have to make this decision because they're offering it and they're bringing it to you. So now your decision is you'll accept that rose. <laughs> There's your two of cups. So it wasn't much thinking. It, wasn't, it didn't have to be much thinking because you know it, you felt it, you you went with this and they, they really put it on you to really, almost you guys are even, right? You're even, like you're, you're on the same wavelength. You're on the same mentality, okay? So, they leave you the choice, you make that choice, you decide that you want it. Bravo. Hey, slow it down. <clears throat> okay, so let's keep going. There you go, sassy pants. Now you're fired up. <laughs> right? Now you're passionate. You're invigorated. You're, you're very, you're hot to trot, we'll say, right? You're a little spicy with this. You, you really are digging the flow of the whole idea, right? And who this person is, right? Because you guys mesh really good together. Uh, so here we go. Be careful. Be careful, okay? Don't get too sassy. Okay, don't get too sassy, don't get too um, passionate, okay? Because there's a lot of things besides just the passion, right? There's a lot of stability, there's a lot of love, there's a lot of loyalty here, right? On both sides. And so, because there's a lot of passion, there's a lot of sassiness, right? That fire, that mm, internal drive, that attraction, 
um, <clears throat> be careful with that because if you take it too far, well, then that could really sabotage the whole thing. Wow, this sounds familiar. Like I had another reading like this. This is weird. I think it was like, <laughs> I think it was uh, Leo Virgo. <laughs> I have to check on the thing. Okay, so here it comes. They're coming in hot and fresh, hot and ready, very fast, very swift. So this is going to start happening real quick. Once, like once you start talking about what you guys get to know each other, these kind of things, what you're offering, what they're offering, and and once you get to that point of judgment, now you kind of release those burdens and and know that this person from your past is single, they're abundant, and they're ready to go for this slow and steady movement. And now you have to take that leap of faith and kind of wait in the distance to really lay um, <clears throat> lay this burdens and troublesome things that you've had to to go through in your mind to rest to hear their news about you know changing stability maybe changing residences walking away from things out there that don't serve them changing the whole stability idea and leaving the option to you to make the decision and you do <clears throat> but like i said with that devil card be careful don't don't let it turn into just a romantic passionate thing because there's way more to it than just that and you could self-sabotage the whole thing <clears throat> because now this is coming in quick Okay, so now it's like once you two get together, there's a lot of passion, there's a lot of heat with it. And so because it does come in fast, don't um, keep that mindset of that's the way now because it started, it's going to be. Because it's like I said, there's way more to it than that. Okay, so keep that whole temperance, keep that balance within yourself for harmonizing the whole picture, not just what happens in the beginning. Okay, because sometimes we do take off like rabbits we do things like rabbits and sometimes we die like rabbits you know what i mean so this is kind of that that idea <clears throat> bam yep so because it comes in fast this is kind of what you want you want this to really take off you want it you're hoping that this really uh happens quickly okay this is what you're hoping for And there's the investment. So it comes in and you two start planting your seeds together, whether it's physically or metaphorically speaking, um, could be both, you know what I'm saying? But there, this is an investment in this relationship that is very solid, very long-term, very loving and abundant. I mean, I just can't say enough about that. Let's keep going. And now you guys have options. So now you have options to, you know, be creative together. Maybe you guys start doing things together, like whether it's a business or creative projects, things like that. But it's all, you have options in investing in each other in multiple ways, which is the stability and the love and, you know, the, the, the balance, not just the passion. <clears throat> Page cups. So now that there are options, right? This is seeing into a little bit further into the relationship as it's already been offered. It's already started or starting. Now, because there are options for you guys to invest in different kind of ways in each other, there's now um, another offer. It's an emotional offer. Right, so now it's like you guys can create things together, like it's written in the stars that you guys could really do this, and this is what's kind of being known, it's being what's said, it's being what's put out, is that now there's endless opportunities for both of you all to, to shine in this kind of relationship. Wow. Okay, we'll take that. Look at you, Queen of Swords. Okay, so it's like, yeah, you stand ready, you stand direct, you speak very um, directly, you're very much um, in control of your mind, and you know, what you say is what you mean, and what you mean is what you say, and this is what you're bringing with this Queen of Swords energy, because you're telling them, this is you telling them, that you guys can invest in things together to really um, shine brightly together. 
And this is kind of that direct communication that you do bring because you were that page of cups. And now you bring in this to a higher level, right? This is like boss mode. This is authority. This is, like I said, starting a business because there were options for that. And this is what you speak of as far as shining with that star card, being very direct and say, let's do something let's create let's be let's be like together in this business because we have this kind of harmony this kind of stability passion and love together and two together can really make things happen and this is kind of how you're projecting this to them in your conversation it's like you two can be bosses you know what i mean and it, it kind of looks like you could start a business and there you go exactly you have that possibility to bring that structure that stability together to really have that empire that you two could really have to build together phenomenal i can't even deal with this right now this is definitely a wish come true for y'all because there's endless opportunities and so much stability and so much good luck and fortune. I can't with this. So, you have now the Nine of Swords. Because it seems too good to be true, you're kind of backtracking a little bit maybe, right? You maybe think you have a little bit of worry, a little bit of anxiety if all of this is going to take off. If all that you guys are talking about is really basically going to come into fruition. And this is kind of where your a little bit of your anxiety comes in. <clears throat> Just a little bit though. Right? Because you're wondering how you're going to juggle some things. And like I said, back here at the three of the three of wands, you're waiting because it's like they're off in the distance. And so maybe some of this anxiety is how are we going to juggle this? How are we going to be able to manifest this? How are we going to be able to work this out and, and unite if you guys are at a distance? <clears throat> Well, you're going to start taking action. So it's like you're going to move towards this. Either them are going to move to you or you're going to move to them, however that fits for you. But this is the juggling that you're deciding on how we're going to move and if this is going to work out. But it's like the action is starting to be taken. Okay, So these steps are now um, being engaged. Oh, my God. Okay. And there you go. You're not disappointed. You're not sad. You're not anything. You're just more like now you feel emotionally stable. Okay. Because fours are about stability. Cups is your emotions. It's not the tarot card definition. It is definitely my intuition to say with a little bit of numerology with the fours. It is you now feeling emotionally stable because you guys talk things out. You guys are expressing your your you know your concerns and your worries and all those things to really you know <clears throat> cross your t's and dot your i's to make this happen and that helps you ease your anxiety of that nine of swords to really now trust it because you're starting to see action And when you two join together, you're going to put in the hard work to keep this relationship solid, stable, steady, abundant. And it's, and it's just just the work that you two are going to do. You're each you're going to put in your own effort of hard work to make this stable and solid. That's your eight of pentacles. And you two are going to be able to overcome any burdens, barriers, blockages that will get in your way. Seven of Wands. To cause a tower. 
cause a tower to anybody that comes up in your way. You two are going to be a powerhouse. Possibly a very, very, very uh, financially abundant couple. You're going to bring options to the table for each other. Because you, are, you know what you want. They know what they want. You have the same vision. And so what you're doing with this tower is bringing any change to things that might try to stop you guys on your journey. That is your tower. And this has all been illuminated to you and them. So like I said, you guys have these conversations. You enlighten each other. You do express these things to one another so then there's nothing to be left out. So therefore, there's nothing to be held back. Wow. So my friends, trust your intuition with this because you know with inside yourself that this is the right person for you this is the right path for you everything laid out here the passion the stability the long term the love it's all there the creativeness everything is there so trust your intuition do not slip back into a little bit of anxiety because you are being <clears throat> told everything that is needing to be told there's nothing to be held back okay so there's nothing left out for you to feel that you're missing something and vice versa because you guys have this kind of communication to really express every little detail about what they want, what you want, and what you guys want together. So trust your intuition, my friends, <clears throat> because this is going to be your person. Someone's trying to stop my throat chakra from speaking this. I drink plenty of water, but it's just really kind of trying to clamp me off here. And look at you two. Gonna sail away in the sunset together. So it's gonna be a smooth, successful, forward movement ahead. The direction that you two going in is correct. It is what you both want. It's gonna be smooth and steady. There's not gonna be any ripples in the water, we'll say. No, no tsunamis, no hurricanes, no nothing that's gonna really stop you guys because this is in a very successful relationship that you guys both take off on because see look at that's you or them you know what I mean vice versa and you guys are taking off together wow I think I'm gonna leave it right there my friends I know it was short and sweet <clears throat> someone's trying to attack my throat chakra and stop me from talking about this but enjoy your journey because it is very abundant it is very beautiful it is very passionate creative there's a lot on this plate for you guys so be that fool take that leap of faith be brave and don't get trapped in your head have faith because it will work out because judgment is here so with that being said my friends that has been your reading i hope you enjoyed it i know it was a little short and sweet but you know what sometimes it's good like that because there's no hiccups obviously because the reading went so smooth um it just really really reiterates that point of how well this relationship is going to work for you so with that being said my friends i hope you find have yourself a fantastic day enjoy the rest of your sunday peace and pray and we'll see you again